Well, it's of the damsel, both fair and handsome. This story's true, or so I've been told. In the lofty mansion near the shores of Shannon, her father hoard in great stores of gold. With many's the noble he tried to meet her, ah, but all in his counsel it was all as one. Or with the folly that belongs to nature, she hadn't set her heart on the young serving man. Well, as these two lovers were fondly talking, her father heard them and he near them drew. Oh, but when he heard what they were discoursing, well, in anger home then he swiftly flew. To build a dungeon was his intention, for to part true lovers he contrived a plan. And he swore an oath by all that's high and holy, that he'd pardon his daughter from the serving man. So he's built a dungeon of bricks and mortar, and a flight of stairs it was underground. And the food he gave her was bread and water, and no other comforts for her were found. And every day he would sorely beat her, until at length this young girl began. Oh, father, father, won't you relent now? And let me marry my young serving man. Well, when Edward found out her habitation, well, it was secured by an iron door. And he swore an oath in front of all the nation that he'd gain her freedom or he'd rest no more. So at his leisure he toiled with pleasure for to gain the freedom of his Mary Ann. And when at length he had gained his treasure, she cries, my faithful young serving man. And when at length he had gained his treasure, he says, I will be faithful to you likewise. And for your sake I would face your father, for to see me here it would him surprise. When her father brought her the bread and the water, well, to call his daughter, then he thus began. Says Edward, enter, I freed your daughter, put all the fault on your young servant man. Well, when her father found out that she had vanished, well, it's like a lion and he did roar. And he says, from Ireland you will be banished, and with my sword I would draw your gore. Agreed, says Edward, I'm glad I did it. I freed your daughter, now do all you can. Just forgive your treasure, and I'll die with pleasure. Put all the fault on your young serving man. Well, when her father found him so tender-hearted, well, it's down he fell on the dungeon floor, saying no true lovers should e'er be parted, since love can conquer an iron door. So now they're one to be parted never, and to roll in riches this young couple can. And this young lady is blessed with pleasure, contented with her young serving man. Yeah. Yeah.